guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 21 to 23 week update. I'm officially 24 weeks pregnant today. Um, I'm going to do this update a little bit different. I feel like because I don't have as many um, new symptoms, I don't think I'm just going to say like this is what happened 21 weeks, this is what happened 22 weeks. I think I'm just going to give you like the general idea of just the symptoms that I've been going through through 21 to 23 weeks and showing you my bump. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So yes, I am 24 weeks pregnant in a few days actually. I just had my OB appointment uh, Thursday. Everything looked great with the baby. Um, we have a few appointments coming up, which will be my 28 week appointment and then my glucose test and then we have to go See a specialist for some things but it's not it's nothing to worry about um so as far as new symptoms i think my belly has definitely grown a little bit or she has grown because the lower back pain and the hip pain are a new thing um it's usually if i'm like sitting like this too long or laying flat on my back it really really starts to hurt um and it's not like a i can't walk kind of hurt it's more like a stiff kind of hurt if that makes any sense. It's pretty uncomfortable, but it's manageable. Um, I, I kind of knew it was coming because I'm getting a lot further along and I carry her really low. I know people say that you carry girls high and you carry boys low, but that is not the case for me. This girl is really, really low. She is always low. Um, my movements have definitely increased. She is kicking me all the time. And it, it's like, I know, I think in my last video I said that I mainly felt her at night, but nowadays I feel her seriously 24-7 when I wake up in the middle of the night while I'm going to sleep during when I'm at work. Like this girl like just doesn't take a break, it, feel, it feels like. Another symptom I've been having is sciatic nerve pain. That's no fun. Um, basically, okay, to me what it feels like right now is it feels like I have like a Charlie horse in my butt cheek <laughs> and it like goes all the way down the back of my leg all the way down to my calf and it like it, it, it I don't know like it feels like you've pinched a nerve like it that's essentially what she's doing is she's laying on one of my nerves um it like tingles and it's tight and god forbid I try and bend down because it just makes it hurt worse and thankfully as of right now it's not consistent it's only happening maybe once or twice a day if that but that's no fun. Um, and it's not debilitating or anything. The pain level it's at right now is more so just like annoying, you know, like like an annoying fly in your ear kind of, you know, pain. Um, so I'm knocking on wood now that it just stays like an annoying pain, but I'm pretty sure I'm probably not that lucky. <laughs> Unfortunately, the nausea kind of sort of has come back. It is not as severe as it was my first trimester, and it's really only after I eat certain things, um, but I just get a little bit queasy. At, it's more so nighttime as well, so that's I would rather be queasy at night anyway because I can just go to sleep, whether it be literally all day and I have to be at work and everything, but it really sucks. But usually I can uh, fight it off with one of my promethazine pills that I got for my first trimester. I still haven't taken all of them. So that's what I've been taking for that. Another big thing is Braxton Hicks contractions. Um, I remember I was laying in bed uh, 22 weeks maybe, maybe it was 23. Um, and I was thinking to myself, but everyone said, this is around the time that Braxton Hicks usually starts and I've never felt them. And some of my friends have told me they never had Braxton Hicks contractions. So I was thinking, you know, like, maybe I was just one of those people who, like, didn't get them. Because I know, like, some people get that line on their belly. I don't have that at all. So I thought, you know, maybe I was just one of the ones who, like, just didn't have one of the classic pregnancy symptoms. No, I definitely, definitely got those. I was laying in bed and I just, like, I... I felt it and like I just knew what it was because everyone had told me what it felt like. Um, they're definitely not painful, they're just really uncomfortable. Apparently they can last anywhere from a few seconds to, I don't know, like mine lasted like I swear like four or five minutes. 
Um, and I've only had a few, not even, like there's some days that I don't get them at all. So like it's nothing concerning, it's just like I said, it's more so one of those pestering annoying pains. Um, so those will be really fun in the time to come. And this one is a little bit of a TMI. So if you're like not pregnant, well I feel like anything that has to do with the pregnancy update is a little TMI, you're kind of asking for it watching this kind of stuff. Um, I have had the craziest increase in discharge, like it is absolutely disgusting actually. Right? It's gross, like I have to wear like a panty liner now, it's it's seriously so gross, like I feel like I pee myself sometime or I'm like I'm leaking fluid or something and it turns out to just be discharge. So that's cool. But that's really it for all of the symptoms that I've been going through uh, these past few weeks, like I said I'm 24 weeks now. Um, but I feel like I'm kind of just at that stage where it's more so the uncomfortableness and stuff like that that I'm about to start going through rather than the nausea and stuff like that and the tender breasts because that, that's been gone since like 12 weeks for me. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the bump. Here the bad girl is in all her glory. Like I said, she's got lots of stretch marks to give me. This is the front. This is the side. I don't know, I just feel like I've definitely like started to round out a little bit, which is nice. And as you can see, I carry her very, very low. And it's her with the shirt on. Even with the hoodie, it is no longer concealable that I am pregnant. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe down below if you're new. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.